check test. Okay. Uh, hi. I'm doing this on a Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Yeah, it is Tuesday before um, April Fools, which I forgot was a thing until maybe like 15 minutes ago. But here we are. <clears throat> Game start. Wild and crazy version. Here we go. Where it's just called Apparently Places with Silly Names isn't what I picked on. It was supposed to be Um Uh Um Famous Sports Arenas or something like that, but this works too. Somehow thematically uh correct for I guess April Fools being silly stuff, but Black screen, love those. Rough and ready, that's the name of this place, huh? This feels like a, uh, the union. Hmm. This feels like a, uh, seated from union, 1850. Um, I don't know what I'd call this place. I'm kind of like half awake. Like I'm going through this issue now with I'm sure a lot of people are doing. I'm going to go back and look at that um storage bin that maybe we'll see where we are. Yeah, California. The uh the thing was like I feel like I have a weird tinge. Is that sickness? Is it anything else? And I'm just like, "Oh jeez, what's happening?" And it's just a Silly concern. I think we're maybe up here, but again, I just see that this says California. I don't know if this is where we are exactly, but I'm um, hoping to find at least a, maybe a route sign somewhere. Rough and Ready is kind of a silly name, but in a world of silly names, what makes this any different? Um... Yeah, where I just feel like, is this an ill, do I feel sick? Is this a sick thing? I don't know. Am I overthinking it potentially? However, I'm uh, kind of just playing super cautious now, like I did a couple of weeks ago when I thought I potentially was sick. And I was like, well, I don't want to get anybody else ill, so I'll just hang out inside for a while until it potentially passes. Yeah, it's a uh, trailer park here. I know quite a bit about those, having to live in one for a couple of years, and more like 10, 15, Christ. Where is a uh, sign with a root on it? I know this is apparently called Rough and Ready. However, I'm not seeing any signage to let me know where we are, and it's it's bumming me out. I I, I gotta say. Um, but yeah, it's the temporary new normal. I'm doing my part by doing nothing. Uh, I'm trying to at least exercise a little bit inside, seeing how I want to try to avoid being outside as much as possible, and doing basically. Uh, this week, starting with um, little exercises of like doing as many reps. Root, there's like a set, something I did back when I went to a gym before it shut down. Of okay, we have stations. You do as m like a bunch of different stations, but you do as many reps as possible in, this, in a set time period. So I'm starting getting back into that, and just hoping that the next couple of days a different body part of mine. It's just like, well, you're uh, working out now. Well, let me remind you that this part of your body's busted and you're going to be in a lot of pain for a while. Like I may be worried about a bone spur. Whoa, apparently we ran out of time. Oh, we were actually pretty close next to good old Rug and Reddy. English is weird. So... That's life now. This is England, I'm feeling. Is it? 
Lonnie Wylan. Is this Welsh? Is this Silly Yoga Gosh? I don't know. Uh, other than that, reading the book, finished uh, King Leopold's Ghost. I think I might have mentioned that before. If not, I did. Next book's on the way. Um, Amazon was. I'm sure, I don't know how many other people uh, have Amazon Prime. I kind of got it by accident. I forgot what I did. That somehow gave it to me, at least as a trial. And then, like most things that I get subscriptions for, like I'll have it. And then I'm like, oh, I don't remember getting this, but I might as well use it since I have it. Daffy? David, ha okay, this feels Welsh because it's, it's a weird looking David. If it's not, yeah, maybe we're, I don't know if I'm actually going to find Silly Yoga Gosh on here. Like I might have to like zoom in to find it, but I feel that we're, uh, we're here in uh, Wales. But I had Amazon, he got spoiled by it. Very much so. And uh, when you're looking at the delivery times for what they are, and they're like, "Oh, it's that. It's gonna take that long." And you realize that's kind of just what normal shipping is. It was just what Amazon spoiled you with it. Now you gotta go back to normal things. And I was just kind of like, "Okay, well, looking for this specific book, it's um, like quite expensive. Well, I want to be on that bridge." So I decided that instead, why don't I just go ahead and buy a book from um, the nearby town, which I did and saved $20, and we'll have my uh, Lillandar Pingwingle. And I'll have, maybe I'll have it today. I think they mailed it out on Monday. It's an interesting thing. Oh, the Mumbles, that's a great name. Where everyone, the once in a lifetime, once in a century, once every hundred years, kind of like uh, health pan, oh, excuse me, uh, world event that's kind of happening with this. And yes, it is tragic for anybody involved or like touched by it. And it's interesting to see how at least life adjustments and things will be made. It's funny listening to people change the way they say bye to people there instead of being like, good seeing you, thank you so much, stuff like that. It's like, be safe, be well. It's interesting. Um, why can't I find, why can't I find uh, L salad? Well, maybe because it's impossible to find. Linguin Lugufu. Welsh is a interesting thing. Swims with, and you actually hear somebody say it, then they're like, oh, well, the way you say it, it kind of makes sense, but still you got to understand. This is weird English. I'm going to just click. No, we were actually, uh, yep. Lelang fing wing, wing fing wingle. Look, even though this English words, English letters doesn't mean I know how to speak it. But, yeah, I've kind of changed the way I uh, do things like everyone else has. And ordering things, trying to at least order things from around in my town instead of just grocery storing it. I mean, I didn't do, well, this at least is France. Beautiful area here, though. Like, I never hoarded. Like, I understand the panic. It's funny. I might have talked about this. Um, my memory shit. Where a friend of mine took his friend to uh, Costco. Oh, we're in Die. <laughs> um, and it's, it's that kind of, like, mindset you can get when you're very much just caught up in something. You know, mob mentality. It's, it's, it's a weird... Weird mental trigger that can happen. Oh, this could also be maybe up here near Germany. Where 
just because you see other people doing it, you kind of get that weird antsy compulsion to be like, well, they're doing this and there's got to be a reason for it. So I feel like I should. And they're kind of, and he was saying like, he saw a bunch of people buying toilet paper and paper towels and other hoarding things. And they're just like, you know, I came into this without actually needing any of these things, but now seeing other people get it, it kind of, it kind of catches you up in the frenzy, so to speak. It's, it's just the, the being human and dealing with it in a sense where you may think you're above it, but instinctually certain things happen and you just very much become just like any other base human being. It's the same thing with getting sick, at least with this illness. It doesn't matter if you're super rich or anybody. You all have the same biological systems and just as susceptible as others. Uh, granted, you know, younger people maybe won't have it as badly, but it can still happen. Um, I feel like I'm so close to, to finding this, but also not. I gotta, I gotta be near it. Like, I'm looking for this number, but I feel like this is such a tiny little street that I, I don't I don't know if I'm actually gonna find it. So I'm gonna do a little pan again around this to see if maybe doing this it'll uh it'll show up, but not holding out much hope. Anyway, the weekend was interesting. I mean, this really hasn't affected what I usually do on a day to day basis from like before and after just because of what I did. Uh, more board games being played. Played a lot of Ticket to Ride over the weekend. It's fun, but also you don't want to burn yourself out on it. When looking at some board games to occupy time and I actually just came in the mail today. Uh, ordered, I think it's called Tiny Towns just to see if that would be a fun thing to play. I mean, looking for Time sync board games that aren't super complicated. And usually what I mean by like super complicated, I think it's like a haunted mansion or manic mansion or something mansion that has to do with Lovecraftian things and you have to have a tablet or some other mobile device to play it. And there's games that can take anywhere from 60 minutes to over 340 minutes. Oh, we were actually farther south here, huh? In D. I like my thought process. Well, we're uh, never going to get this place. This feels a little unfair, in all honesty. So I have to make a guess as to where this is. This is Europe. This is going to be a quick guess because I don't know if I'm going to get any more information than this. That looks like Rafelson Bank. Rafelson shifting up this way. Okay. Anything else? We have a faded out umbrella. Can't really see that. That's a very Erosion issue on that house. It's not done being constructed yet, even though they have trampolines and a very uh, questionable slide location, it looks like, that can go right into a ditch and ravine over there. I don't know if I would put that there if I were you. Um, I'm going to say this is Germany, just because I don't have anything else to go off of. And I don't know any... Maybe we're in Bad Bevinson. So I'm just going to say we're in Bad Beveston, and I'm not going to be able to make any more of a guess after this. Well, we were uh, in Austria in a town called what? Rotten Egg. Okay. There was zero way. Oh, well, there's Reifensen Bank. There was no way I was going to get that. Interesting. So this looks to be the U.S. again. It's a Publix coming soon. Is this like a, uh, well, we're drunk. No, we're not drunk. 
Oh, we're in Oviedo. I've heard this word before now. I just don't know if I'm going to... I don't know if I'm going to find it. Oviedo. Shit. Let's see what this says. Stanley Creek and Snow Hill. Is this actually... um? Taintsville. Does it say Taintsville? It does say Taintsville. Walker Elementary. That's a great name. Taintsville. Where is Taintsville? Well, we did have some symbol. Although I hate this intersection. It looks awful. There we go. Adopt a road for Department of Public Works. We got a horse camp. It doesn't help me. This truck? Seminole County Public School. We're in Florida. So yeah, Oviedo. And I find it here. Now, this is going to be hard. Oviedo. I don't see it, just quick glance. All right. So now... Seminole County, I believe, is down here. Either way, we got to look for a road to let me know where we are here. That's the speed limit. That doesn't help me. Taintsville. It's like a you can live in a like climately pleasant, well, like temperature wise. It's not. Awful, but you gotta live. It's called Taint. Oviedo. I don't. I need a street. Need a root sign. So I know where I am. I'm not getting it. These are all just massive McMansions here. And it just goes on forever. No income tax down here. So people use it as a. Well, you could call it a tax haven. Just one less tax they have to pay. Twin Rivers Boulevard. County Road 419, I think, is probably what this says. But it's just one long strip of road that doesn't... That just refuses to have, like, a root sign on it anywhere. It would be nice if it did, or... Something saying, like, highway this way. Nothing. Although, I think... We might be coming up to Everglades of something. I got 40 seconds left, and I ain't found nothing. And I ref it, it just refuses to go forward. Hello? Can I, can I go forward? I want to I go forward. Website, come on. 20 seconds. Wow, this is... Just has nothing on it as far as roots. Isn't Seminole down here? I'm looking for Oviedo if I can get it in like the last little bit of time I have. Oh, we were up north and we never saw. Oh, County Road 419. And they were in the village of Taintsville. Well, not bad. I was completely bamboozled by the uh, map I was doing. The link misled me, but here we are, ending on our um, our Wednesday episode. Touching base. Hoping all is well. Thank you all for watching. And uh, if you have any thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, complaints, likes, favorite, comments, subscribe, put them in the comments below there. I will read them and get back to you. Week's halfway done. We're even closer to the end of the week. I'm being redundant. Come back on Friday when we do another round of guessing geography with me and you, the silent watcher. Not creepy anyway. All right, bye.